Hi everyone, this is the Order Flows Market Review for Friday, May 27, 2016. My name is Michael Valtos. I'm the founder of orderflows.com. First, a brief disclaimer. This presentation is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation to buy or sell a futures contract or make any other type of investment decision. Future trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so it's Friday, May 27. You know, it's the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. And actually, later today, you have Janet Yellen speaking. And obviously, you know, I think people are, are going to be, you know, waiting and, and watching to see what she's got to say about about any possible rate hikes. You know, that said, it's been it was a very quiet morning, and it's, it's still quiet. We're still trading around twenty um, twenty ninety two and a quarter. Uh, we opened up at at twenty ninety and a half. You know, our range, you know, the, the range in the S and P's is is eighty eight up to to ninety four. And, you know, I mean, 94 is, is just is, is a recent high. You know, it's about 10 o'clock right now, Chicago time. And, you know, so you basically you're, you're talking about a six-point range, which is ridiculous for the S&Ps. It's, like I said, you know, you have the holiday on Monday, and you got Janet Yellen speaking this afternoon. The markets, you know, there's not, gonna, there's not much to happen today. So, you know, I took a trade here. You know, let me just step it backward. You know, I bought it at 92 and a half. And, you know, really I was looking to see if there's going to be a big breakout or not. And I'll tell you why I was looking at this 92 and a half level. I was looking at this 92 and a half level because if you go back to Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, about 2:30, 2:40, we hit this high here at uh, 20.92 and a half, and we have a, we don't have a ratio that I like, but you, you can see the volume up here. It's it's quite strong. You know, it's 1,500, you know, 1,100, 1,300. Even on the bid side, it's it's 12.61. The market did sell off. It sold off down to about 83, 82 even the next day, 83 the next day, and you know when I see volume like that, to me that that's a that's an important level. You know earlier. We had hit 92 even before that, you know, 92 again. You know, we just this was Wednesday. We just sort of going up, you know, get up to 92. Couldn't really get past it. You know, we traded. We got up to 93, two and a half, but there was heavy volume up there, and you know, the market sold off from that going into the close. I mean, so we got down to, you know, we ended up the day, you know, 80s. What is that? 88 and three quarters. But then you know, and reopened in in the evening. That night we sold off down to uh, two and a half. So you know, even though you know from two thirty on Wednesday afternoon until you know basically midnight, we sold off basically ten points. Okay, we got back up on Thursday. You know, we started trading. The Thursday's trading session was was extremely tight as well. And you know, after the cash open, we got up to our high at uh, 91 and three quarters, and then we just traded back and forth. You can see it's, it's kind of a neutral day in the volume profile is what it looks like here. And that's how we ended up the day. We didn't take out the high. We took out the high, though, this last night. And we got up to, we hit 92.50. And again, you know, this was at, you know, after 8 p.m. Chicago time. When we hit that high, we got a ratio bounds low again. You know, got a ratio, got a divergence. Yeah, the market sold off. Okay, whoop de doo You know, went from 92 and a half down to eight and a half. So it was a four point move, and the market is very contained. You know, this is Thursday night going into Friday morning. We were very, very contained. You know, when we got down to 88, you know, we, wow, we made a new low down to 88. Then we started coming back up. We hit 92 and a half again around seven. Actually, it was even before seven. Uh, I, I sort of remember it was probably around five in the morning when we started trading up there. You know, we'd get there and come off, get there, come off. You know, we're putting in some volume. You know, by the time the cash opened, you know, we're trading down around ninety. You know, this actually this bar, even though it turned, this is a ten range S and P chart. Even though you know, this bar is green, you know, prior to the cash opening, you know, it looked like we we're selling off. Um, you know, or at least selling off into the low. And it's hard to say we're selling off. 
or when you have a, a very, you know, 92 and a half high, 88 low, you have a, basically a four point range, four and a half point range. But, you know, as cash opened, we turned around. We're starting to see some buying come in. And then we're getting back up here at 92 and a half. And, you know, I, you know people that know me know me that I used to be, a, a, I used to love to buy breakouts. I used to love to cause breakouts whenever I could, you know, even if it meant, but you know, trading it, you know, seeing if there's stops up there. You know, we did get up towards the other side, okay? You know, then, you know, I figured, hey, you know, I only take a shot. And I was really looking for, you know, a quick move up to the 94 level. I did expect to see some volume up here at, you know, at three and a half, you know, at three, three and a half. But I, I really felt that if we're really going to finally break through this 92 and a half level, we can, you know, finally we could make a make a move above, you know, go up to 21, 2100, and then probably test our our highs, you know, our our contract highs. You know, so I got long, and as luck would have it, we just sort of hung around in this bar. We sort of, you know, we put a lot of volume in this bar. And after I got long, we even traded down to 91 and a half. So you know, I did take some heat. We did break out finally. You know, we made a new high at 94. You know, it's hard to get excited. You know, when you're a breakout trader, you're really looking for a big breakout. You're not looking for this little high here. You know, a couple points. You know, a couple ticks higher. You know, you're long at at two and a half. You know, you you want to get out at five. You know, at four, four and a half, five. Not at. You know, you're not looking for. A, you know, three and a half. You know, ideally you'd like to get out at 94 and above. You know, I'd like to get at least a couple points out of it. But again, we hit this level here at 94, and we just sold off. We just came right back down. So you know, this this level to me is is an important level. You can see the volume that's trading here. You know, 10,000 uh, on the offer. Even around it, you know, you got 4,000, 9,000, 7,000. You know, 9,000, 9,000, 10,000. There's heavy volume up here. People are happy to transact at these levels. Came off. Okay. You know, I wanted to see this point of control hold, which kind of lines up with this point of control from earlier. You know, so you got these two points of control. I want to see this area, you know, I want to see, I still want to see buying come in. You know, there's a lot of buying here at these levels. So, you know, I'm not giving up just yet. I know that it's a very tight range as well. So I was going to be very surprised if this trade was going to really get away from me pretty quick. You know, we were in a four point range all night. I can't expect all of a sudden we're going to move, you know, five points right off this high. So it, it, for me, it, didn't feel much downside risk, you know, when you sort of take everything into account. You know, I've got some support levels down here, which we tested. It held, and it bounced right back up. Got back up to 93.50. Then again, you know, right now, I mean, right now it's it's a little bit after 10, and we're trading around this area here, around 93. Well, now it's at two and a half, but we were trading, you know, three, three and a quarter, three and a half, you know, three and a quarter, threes, you know, 275 back and forth here. Honestly, you know, I originally I thought I, I threw an offer in there at three and a half, trying to get a point out, and it was just really going nowhere. I, I just, I, I, honestly, I came in today not expecting to trade at all, and this trade, you know, it's sort of set up. I mean, it, it's, I hate to say it was an order flow trade. It's, it's honestly, it's not. You know, it's, it's a level trade. I was watching this level for a few days, uh, and I wanted to see as we're getting through it. And we kept testing it, kept testing it. You know, now that the cash just opened, if you remember the last couple of days, every time after the cash opened, we'd make a new high and just go higher. Well, except for yesterday. But uh, so I was sort of looking, anticipating the same sort of thing. And, you know, we did break out, break out a little bit more, and then just came right back off, started going sideways. You know, again, you know, when it's trading at two and a half, I'm not looking to scratch it because, you know, I, I know we're just trading around this area in here. That it's probably gonna give me a chance to get out. You know, I, I would have been perfectly happy to take a small loss on this trade. You know, even down to one and a half to get out. But I know that this market is just going to rotate around, you know, two and a half to three. You know, even down to two. So you know, there's going to be chances for me to get out. I, I do expect us now just to go sideways ahead of Janet Yellen speaking. You know, the fact that we couldn't build on this move. Initially, right after the cash open, you know, this is nine o'clock Chicago time, and you know the fact that we didn't really react and sell off. You know, we made the high, but we didn't sell off. You know, we did come down to 91. You know, but we just snapped right back, and there's this pretty quick snap back. 
So, you know, I do expect this to go sideways now. So, you know, I said I got out at three and a quarter. So, you know, it's not the greatest trade. You know, it's not something I'm going to beat on my chest and say, you know, send out videos. Hey, you know, I made you know, whatever on, you know, on a quick trade. No, you know, I felt that this was a pretty low risk setup in terms of market structure. I, you know, there, I didn't feel there was much downside. You know, the market could have come off, I think. You know, but I've got some support levels here at you know 91 and a half 91 and three quarters i said we did test it we got down to 91 but then this market snapped right back you know i said if I, and we have the opening price here so you know on slow days or days when market's going nowhere you know watch the opening price because the market will basically gyrate around it you know go you know hold as support then it'll become resistance back and forth you know, back and forth but you know i said i had an opportunity to get out in here I didn't really expect it to come back up. I mean, there's not much really in the order flow. I mean, there was one ratio here, but really this level here at, at two and a half, I, I thought if we can get through it, and we did get through it, okay, I mean, I didn't get long when we're back up poking here. I got long after we traded up to, up to here to three and three and a quarter and then came back down. You know, that's when I said, hey, you know, I, I think I could probably get a little bit, I can get something out of this trade. You know, my whole thing is order of trading with order flow, and, and honestly, this this is not necessarily an, an order flow trade in the sense that you know that there's no ratios or anything like that. This was something more you know as, as a level that I've been watching from the order flow from Wednesday when we hit this high here. You know, there wasn't a ratio, but it was very close. You know, it's 0.71. I, I like 0.69 and below. But you know, in the order flow on Wednesday. There was some nice, decent, fat volume up there at that high, and the market did react. And then I just noticed, I mean, yesterday we didn't get quite get up there. We got within three quarters of a point. And then, you know, overnight, or, you know, Thursday evening, trade day Friday, we did hit that level again, two and a half, and there was still that volume. I did expect when we finally get back up there to be that volume. And then we hit it again, you know, at five in the morning, came off, and then cash opened. Okay, and cash open, and now we're seeing a run back up to it. So you know now you got real volume coming into the market, and we hit that level, got through it. Yeah, you didn't get like a bunch of stops triggered and, and immediately spike up three points, but you know we hit it, came off. Okay, uh, at least now it's been violated. I'm looking for you know a, another push up again. Again, you know if. You know, for this trade for me to fail, you know, it'd have to come down, you know, at least test, get on the other side of this opening price at, at 90 and a half, even, you know, come down to 89 and a half. You know, this was basically my stop level here, you know, worst case scenario. But, you know, as, you know, it did get down in this bar on me down to around, I think, 91 before, it was, you know, it turned back up. But then, you know, it never really followed through and then it sort of went sideways on me. So, you know, I took my chance. You know, market gives you, I think market gives you opportunities to get out with a, a small scratch or a small winner. I'll say a small scratch, a scratch or a small winner or a small loser. When a trade is not working out and, you know, I, I took that opportunity to get out here. What I do think is interesting now is we're up here still at the high. And you got a lot of negative deltas going on here, even though this bar's got a very strong positive delta. You know, the fact that we haven't been able to build off this strong positive delta is not necessarily the greatest sign yet. You know, we'll see. I think I think the market's kind of in a holding pattern, waiting for Janet Yellen to speak, and then everyone will take off for a nice long weekend. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. You know, if you can, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I know that you guys are watching my videos and, you know, and appreciate them. And, you know, to learn more about trading with order flow and the software that I use in this video, uh, be sure to visit my website, www.orderflows.com. And, you know, hey, if, if you think it's too expensive, you know, email me. There's my email here, mike at orderflows.com, and, you know, we'll work something out. You know, I said it's, it's about educating you to trade with order flow. Don't necessarily have to use my software, you know. Ideally, yeah, because every, you know, all my videos and all my education is built around my software. I had my software developed because the existing order flow software out there didn't 
analyze the market with order flow. Yeah, it just gave you a footprint chart. Well, you get a footprint chart from anywhere, but you have to know what you're looking at. And, you know, people that I was, te that I was teaching, you know, they don't know where to start. So that's why I sort of created the software with the indicators that, I'll say indicators, but, you know, with the things that I look for in the market that, you know, I said they're not necessarily indicators, they're more things to sort of slap you upside the head, the head and say, hey, idiot, don't miss this. This is happening right now in the market. And, you know, it's up to you whether you want to take it or not. You know, order flow itself is not a trading system. It's a method of trading the market. It's an approach to the market. It's it's not a, a black box. It's not, you know, a, a go, no go, go, no go setup, you know, where you know, you buy when you see green or you, you sell when you see red. No, it's not like that. You have to, it teaches you how to read the market and how to understand the market. You know, which as traders, that's what you have to do. You know, it's not about following the latest, greatest indicator. You know, like I said, you know, well, blue means buy, red means sell. No, it's not about that. You should really understand the market. So anyway, you know, send me an email you know, if you want to discuss uh, order flow. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you if, when I can. You know, sometimes it may take me a day or so, but, you know, I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks for watching this video. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.